year of the business spotlight for Carroll Stream Animal Hospital, Dr. Mondrain Contreras, owner, and Dr. Elsie Sarabatsi, founder. Please. It's all yours. All right, thank you. We've been doing the year of the, uh, the, the, the business spotlights all year long. Uh, today we're having uh, representatives from uh, the Carroll Stream Animal Hospital joining us, uh, Elise Sarabasi, the founding doctor of the hospital, and the new doctor, the new owner, Dr. Mondrian uh, Contreras. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. All righty. So today we decided we were going to give you a little tour of the Carroll Stream Animal Hospital history. Um, I am currently a veterinarian at the Carroll Stream Animal Hospital, but we are going tonight to give you a whirlwind tour back through our 33-year history. Um, 33 years ago, one John Sirabasi, who was from New Jersey originally, met me, Elise Sir Stern and we got together and graduated University of Illinois Veterinary College at the University of Illinois Champaign. And in 1984, we graduated and set our sights on practicing veterinary medicine. We both knew that we wanted to do large animal or a mixed practice, and so we landed jobs in a rural area in Pennsylvania called Canton or Troy, Pennsylvania. So we um, moved to Troy and were allowed to um, really expand our veterinary experiences and uh, got experience both in large and small animals and the art of our veterinary profession as a business. We got married in 1985, had our eldest daughter Danielle in 1987, and then we started missing our extended families. So we flipped the proverbial coin between New Jersey And so, as a result, we decided to put down our roots in Carroll Stream. At the time, it was a very small village of Carroll Stream. Without any funds for a building, um, we settled out on a build-out of two units back at the Garriott North, Veter the North Center, or the Garriott North Plaza. And at that time, we founded the Garriott North Veterinary Center. <coughs> it was a three-month family affair. We did a lot of painting, a lot of wallpapering, assembling of furniture and decor, and babysitting. And finally, in 1988, two very important events occurred. The first event was turning on the lights for the first night game at Wrigley, and the opening of the doors at the Garriott North Veterinary Center. We were committed to be a full service animal hospital at that time, in, uh, to be able to affect the, the needs of all the community of Carroll Stream. We enjoyed at that time working at Cosley Zoo, which at the time was a farm. We had played in the parks, lived in town. We took our daughters, our youngest daughter, Rebecca, was born here as well. We talked, took them to the schools here in Carroll Stream, and we did our daily veterinary. We've served fuzzy, furry, finned, and feathered pets, as well as teaching new owners how to take care of, properly take care of their own animals. As the years went by, we had established ourselves in the many walks of Carroll Stream. The daily life included 28 Fourth of July parades, over 25 years as a member of the Chamber of Commerce, a petting zoo, dog walks, Girl Scout troops, Boy Scout troop tours, helped with the inception and the events of the dog bark park. In 1995, John began studying veterinary behavior in addition to our regular practice, and we began to think about expansion of the, of the clinic. Our general practice um, was a storefront, and we had looked into a freestanding building, and the previous owner, Dr. Gary Shire, decided to retire in 2002. So we and our classmate, Dr. Martin Johnson, at the time, merged the Garriott North Veterinary Center, our staff and clientele, with those at the Carroll Stream Animal Hospital. Now we, were, we really were the Carroll Stream Animal Hospital. 
We tried to maintain the same family values that we've always believed in at our business. We have the greatest staff to help us with our, to serve our clients and our pets. They've helped us survive tough times and good times as we grew to be an integral part of the community of, and, and DuPage County. And now for the future. As of January 12th, 2015, John and I are very pleased to introduce the new owner of the Carroll Street Mental Hospital, Dr. Mondrian Contreras. We know that you are very busy, and that certain appointments may leave you overwhelmed with information. That's why at Carroll Street Animal Hospital, we make sure to hand out information with every visit and provide plenty of follow-up to make sure your pet is receiving the right care. We want to make sure you're well supported. We are firmly committed to making sure you understand your pet's health condition and keeping your family safe from potential zoonotic diseases. The Carroll Street community has an exceptional history of taking care of its pets, and you deserve an animal hospital that is committed to excellence. Thank you for supporting us, and we look forward to continuing to support you. That was my, uh, my very beautiful wife's voice, okay, on that. Uh, um, uh, uh, um. Again, um, like Elise said, I mean, I, I am very thankful to have had such an amazing mentor, and uh, we do continue to be extremely active um, in in this community and to you know support again, um, be parts of the you know the Chamber of Commerce to make sure that we give scholarships to um, our uh, our Carroll Stream students, you know, for uh, going to college, and we continue to definitely we give talks at the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, all the time that come through our hospital. Um, again, we are really are an extremely integral part of our uh, of the community, and we just uh, we do want to thank you guys so much, <coughs> so much for your guys' support. And so, um, I can't tell you enough. Uh, again, I just appreciate their, your time. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Anyone uh, on the board have a question or comment? One more comment, Dr. Contreras. You have some huge mm -hmm. shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, you guys have been awesome. I mean, all the time you've been here, you really have. Um, Congratulations on retirement, but we hate to see you go. It's kind of that mixed one. But I've also had the pleasure of meeting you in the office. Um, if people need a vet, that's the place to go. Um, your, your staff is. You, you guys are exactly right. You guys have got a fantastic staff who really gets involved with knowing what's going on. And uh, I don't care what kind of business it is. That, that's, that's what we want to see. We want businesses that want to be involved and, and, and be a part of the community. And you guys have been and it sounds like you plan to continue to be Absolutely. so congratulations and congratulations appreciate it thank you you know i, I never had a, a dog growing up despite asking my mom all the time <laughs> and uh and it's it's funny because we when i met my wife before we were married she had a dog and uh and i people don't if you're, if you're not a dog owner or you've never had a pet you really don't understand and when i took in that dog um, and my mom, who was anti-dog, like I said, that, that guy became part of our family. My mom would babysit him. I mean, I loved him. And when we got married, obviously, you know, I lived, 
you know, in the same house as him. And he passed away, so it'll be two years um, this fall. But the impact that animals have on people's lives uh, is unbelievable. It's not something that I could even fathom when I was younger. So I know how delicate the services that you provide. And uh, I've heard nothing um, of great thing, but great things from, from your business. So I appreciate the, the sensitivity of the um, business that you, you're in and, and how great a job you do and how you know, um, knowledgeable you are as, in terms of how important animals are to people's families. So again, thank you for everything you do for the community and for the people that cherish these animals and treat them just like any other family member. I just wanted to comment. I just, as I was watching your video, I actually just said to Trustee McCarthy, now you make me want to almost get a dog. <laughs> Not to that point yet. <laughs> I've got three people in the family allergic to dogs, but we might get to that point. Yeah. I, on a personal note, Elise, I am going to miss you. I mean, even though I don't have pets and I'm not a customer of yours, um, I've worked with you for many, many years at the Park District, and our CS Barks event is not going to be the same without you guys. I hope you, that you're going to come and visit us um, and be a part of it. Um, but thank you so much because... You took, and, and not to, to, to put my park district hat on, but what you did is we took an idea and we partnered with you and you said, do this, this, and this, and you're going to reach so many people in this community that are looking for somewhere to go and to be part of a community together. And when we did our first dog event, we had no idea what we were doing. Um, and it has just grown and it's grown and it's grown. And every year, rain or shine, it does not matter. People come out in droves. And really, one of the, the first things that they ask is, where's Dr. Elise at? So um, because they know you've, you've helped us. You were a very integral part of, of really getting the dog park you know, up and running um, from that perspective, too, giving the park district guidance because it was something that the community wanted and you are such an integral part of this this community so thank you very much for everything you've done and yes you do have very large yeah, shoes absolutely. to fill um, oh, yeah. welcome thank you so much for choosing to, to be here in Carroll Stream I mean you could have gone anywhere that you wanted to and you chose to come to our community so thank you very much and welcome uh, I just want to say uh, welcome again, like everyone else, um, Dr. Contreras, and I'm um, glad you're going to be involved in our community. And Dr. Sirabasi, um, are you leaving us? We're going to be around for a while. You've been very active, um, both on a professional and a personal level. You're a you. citizen of the year, past citizen of the year, and um, very active in many different areas and facets, and so we're glad you're staying in, in the area. So. Well, that makes okay. me feel good now that I know you're staying uh -huh. because I've watched your daughters grow up because we do attend the same church and we spend a lot of time at church where our families grew up together. Uh, I, I will miss you from the animal hospital and you do have big shoes to fill. It's easy to stand up there and say, I'm going to do it, but we're going to count on you to do it because they are a big part of our community. Big part, and that was thank a really you. big part of coming. Thank you, we'll be looking forward to working with you and your beautiful wife. <laughs> and th so. thank you for taking care of our four-legged family members. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Wait a thank second, you. our yeah. clerk was I'm on. Sorry, I just okay. wanted to say something. I just wanted to say that um, I just recently adopted a puppy male dog who is deathly afraid of the human touch. And uh, he, um, you're, Somebody who worked um, vet tech in your office graciously agreed to tr um, groom him within her home one on one, and I'm so grateful. So you got a bunch of great people working with you. Make sure you keep them, and uh, you guys do a wonderful thing. Appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, as we can see, as people know, pets are a very emotional thing. And uh, thank you for, for sharing uh, your skills and knowledge and, and helping us do a better job with our, with our pets. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. See you soon.
Our next business spotlight will be the second meeting of June, and that'll be uh, Nancy Thomas from Family Pharmacy. Good.